My name is Jauhar Ilham. I am Uyghur. I'm also the daughter of jailed Professor Ilham Tohti. He's currently serving a life sentence in a prison in China for advocating um, peaceful coexistence between Han Chinese and Uyghur people in China. Two thousand eighteen was a time I realized that those camps exist. Those concentration camps where over one million Uyghurs are locked up actually exist. I couldn't sit back and just be silent about it. I decided to speak up for the Uyghurs because those innocent people who are locked up in those concentration camps or so-called re-education centers are someone's father, someone's mother, someone's sister, someone's brother. They have, there are so many Ilham Tohti, there are so many Jauhar Ilham are locked up with different names are locked up in those so-called concentration centers, re-education centers or whatever you call it. Those innocent people don't deserve to be locked up for even a day. When I first uh, started my ad activism work, I was lucky enough to have guidance from family friends, from professors, and I wanted to make sure to use those knowledge to, to be able to share those knowledge with others, whoever they're in similar situation or they want to help people with similar situation. I wanted to be able to share my knowledge on how we can advocate for others, how we can advocate for the people we love, how we can be able to be the voice of the voiceless. Many people ask me, what is the best way to advocate for someone or for a group? I have to say that there is no one best way. Every way is the best way. I have tried everything I can for the past six years to advocate for my father, for my community, for the Uyghur people. I have tried testifying before the Congress, writing uh, for the New York Times uh, or the Daily Beast or the diplomats, doesn't matter. Uh, try to reach out to journalists, try to reach out anyone who can get your voice out. Having different NGOs, committees to pay attention to the cause that you care about. Let them be your voice too. I also try to reach out to the, the government officials. Um, I am not a powerful, rich, rich or politician that can make a decision or make an influence. But I know that I need to make sure to reach out to people who can. And that's what you should do too. The first thing I recommend people to not to do is to never think that your voice is power powerless. The reason there's so many authoritarian regime try to shut their citizens' voices down to make them shut up is because they know how powerful people's voices can be. Never underestimate yourself. Never underestimate your own power. Second thing I recommend you to do is to use your voice. Try to tell every single person you know, your classmates, your teachers, your friends, your families about what you care about, about the cause that you care about. Try to use every opportunity you have to get the word out. And I said, as I said, be the voice for the voiceless.